Let me show you an interesting part of our river trip on uh, October the 11th, 2009 here on the Grand River. Uh, Jamie Kent from Grand Experiences is going to explain to me this area here. It almost looks like an island. Is it an yeah, island? It is an island. Okay. And the Grand River is a really large river, so it does have a series of islands all along uh -huh. the river. Uh-huh. Okay. Especially the lower part from Paris down. Uh-huh. It could be a very small island here. In a yes. few minutes, we're come, going to come to a larger island called Sarah's Island. Uh-huh. Which is quite, quite large. And um, we offer actually excursions on some of the islands. We mm -hmm. do uh, Turtle Island, which is an Aboriginal uh, adventure. Mm -hmm. He'll tell you native stories and legends about the earth Uh-huh. It's really a neat experience. Great. And then we can also send people up camping. When you're camping on one of these islands, there's no amenities. It's like you're camping in the far north. Wilderness camping, yeah. yeah. And you're in the valley, Absolutely. so you look up at night and you see a very dark sky. Uh-huh. It's a really cool experience. You'll hear coyotes down here. Oh, really? Yeah. We have badgers. We have a lot of you know, white-tailed deer. We have mm -hmm. uh, Fox, mm -hmm. a possum, because mm -hmm. it's more of a southern animal. Beavers? No. Nope. Yeah, beavers. beavers, okay. Here you have more of a bank beaver. They won't build anything across the river, it's just too big. Uh huh. But you do have beaver. Uh, okay. Otters. We have okay. A lot of otters, uh, minks, mm -hmm. fishers, a really wide range of, of, of animals along the river. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, nice floating down the river here. Colors are starting to come in here. In this area here, mm -hmm. up in the high trees in the far bank, mm -hmm. you actually a blue heron colony. Oh, it's a blue heron rookery, and there's probably about 60 nests. It would be one of the larger Whoa. colonies I'm aware of in South Madera. Okay. And it's, uh, and it's, as a result, you get a lot of blue heron along the river here. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. uh, especially in the in the spring or in the fall as they're getting ready to migrate. Yeah. In spring when they first come back, you'll see a lot of activity. It's really neat when the leaves aren't on the trees. Just yeah. Just blue heron standing in the nest on the top of the trees. They migrate or they, they don't? Do. They do. They are migrating bird. Now, the other thing we will get here is some really odd birds for the mm -hmm. area. We have had great white rats here. Oh, yeah. Uh, which is a bird more from Georgia and Florida. Exactly. And we, we've had a, quite a few of those, more than I've ever seen this last summer. I've seen three of them at once in some mm -hmm. locations. And it's, mm -hmm. it's a neat bird to see here because it's just not unheard of, basically. Exactly. Yeah, certainly not part of the usual Ontario right. uh, species collection that we've got yeah. here. Okay, great.